Welcome, Anna Christie. Thank you so much for joining us today and discussing toilet training. Thank you, Tracy. I'm really, really interested in the work you're doing. Now, in 2010, you conducted a research project titled Toilet Training Infants and Children in Australia. Could you please give us an overview of that report that you did? Um, this is an original report. Um, it's the first time in Australia that anyone has looked at toilet training behaviours to this extent in Australia. Uh, I was looking at it from the environmental, social and the um, health impacts of late toilet training. By late toilet training, um, I was just seeking to establish um, what is the current age that people are toilet training their children, and I mean what, when do they commence, when do they finish, and has this changed in the last generation? My, my research confirmed that both the commencement and the completion of toilet training in Australia has now been delayed um, in, in the region of a year to a year and a half, um, more than what it was a generation ago. And what we now see is that the later you leave it to start toilet training children, you miss what we call the window of opportunity. Um, and that window of opportunity is a window within which if you begin the toilet training, you will have a shorter toilet training and you'll have less um, problems in toilet training. If you miss the window of opportunity, which is said to commence from about 18 months, depending on which of the experts you, you look at, um, you know, from around 18 months to perhaps 22 months are the, the best, or say, let's say a year and a half to two years is the window, um, you will have more extended, no, you will have the, the chance of a more extended toilet training. You will have a high, much higher possibility that the child will have dysfunctional behaviours. And those dysfunctional behaviours uh, include hiding while pooing, refusing to use the potty, and uh, pooing in pants, and withholding, sometimes for days, withholding uh, poos. Once the child enters the terrible two zone, mm -hmm. then they discover the word no. Mm -hmm. And then they start to use um, a number of different things as ways of enforcing their individuality against their parent. And every, any parent knows what it's like. Um, and it, it could be um, any, anything could become the, the source of the conflict. Um, not eating a certain food, but in this case, we know that toilet training can certainly be a fantastic tool that the child can use in its in its quest to um, to exert its individuality. Mm, absolutely. 